John Broder, and you're going to fall madly in love on this September 29th, 2010 episode of Ruin Hill. Sweet for Molly. All right. It's called Selfish. is johnbroder.com it's spelled, it. it's spelled John with an H B R O D E U R similar to the goalie the Mark, what the what is a, a, a hockey goalie really Mark Martin Brodeur we got the same spelling so if you're a hockey fan so where what team is he on I don't call hockey but I think he's a uh, New Jersey Devil oh really Pretty where sure. are you from I'm from upstate New York from Albany oh okay from the Original. capital that nobody from the, knows well the area <laughs> yeah did you ever hear of Johnstown Sure, sure. That's kind of the, the sticks. I, feel like I, 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 know, I know people who so Albany much City talent College. comes from upstate New York. I mean, I'm amazed. There's not a whole lot else to do. There really so. is. A beautiful, brilliant, not just intelligent, but so musical and talented. Seriously. And you know, the end of your song, 
I don't know if people tell you this, but the way your voice is, I got a real strong Tom Petty right at the end. I got Wilco. I awesome. mean, Gordon let Tom I'll Petty. Take one you're in a great voice. Thank Beautiful you. intonation. Really yeah. and did you write that song? Yeah. Of course he does. He said he barely does covers. But um, back to one other thing. We're just going to you know, put you in the hot seat for one second, my love. I need a skeleton from your closet. Uh -oh. And then you get to pick a fortune. And then it's Molly's turn to rock and roll on her birthday. So um, yes, yes, yes. A dark, I I dirty. I really good one last time. Well, I need another good one. Dark and dirty. Dark and dirty, baby. <laughs> Come on, Just let's. like, uh, uh, you know, oh, the ambiance of Rue and Who. Uh, yeah, I can't go as, as, as dark and dirty as last time, but I, think I can give up uh, that I have a strong love still to this day of, of uh, turn of the 90s uh, hair metal. Now, can you give a for instance? Um, enough is enough. Remember them? I do. They yeah. had that one great hit. What was it? I had that song you sang. You sang on words. Ah. That was it? That was that. That was one of their Didn't hits. they have another hit? They had that wasn't one. it. I can't think of the other name. <laughs> that might have been the one, though. It was? No? Leonard Skinner didn't sing that, It wasn't Leonard Skinner. All right. It's just not a player Skinner fan. Leonard like Skinner is, is, is a good band, though. Would yeah, you have yeah, a favorite though. Leonard Skinner song? Uh, All right. Pick a fortune. Yeah, I'll pick a fortune. Ah, <laughs> that, that, that skeleton. You got to. You don't have to do a cookie. It wasn't, I know. It wasn't. Cookie, cookie or just I'll, a skeleton. I'll, I'll think of a good one. You can look up on YouTube his past. Skeleton, and, and, and if you're really curious yeah, to see how it's a lot darker than that one. Okay, here, I'll just pick one of these. You can have a cookie. You can have a cookie, though. Yeah, you can have a cookie. You need some. Yeah, you can have. Yeah, you can. Well, let's see. This because you've been on the show twice. Yeah, he can do both. Well, this one says. Two for Tuesday. Two for measure Wednesday. your cloth ten times. You can cut it but once. You know. You I know. know what means. You know what? I, I once got that, and I didn't get it. And my kids explained it to me, and it makes so much freaking sense. What does it say it again? Now I, I, now I'm such a pro at understanding that fortune. It says, Do you understand it? I, I kind of get I it. Know, I didn't. Measure, My kids measure your cloth ten times. You can cut it but once. Do you know what it means? Say it again. Imagine. Measure oh, your measure. cloth but ten, ten times. times, but you can only cut it once. It means like. You lay it over and over and over and do one cut with multiple layers. Once it's cut, you can't change it. You can measure it as many times as you want. Oh, this is one of those. those my kid, my kids explained it to this me. This is a little heady for us. And now I hear it and I'm like, I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't get it. But they, they have Google on their phones. They probably just. No, they don't. didn't. It was sitting around the table. <laughs> They're brilliant. And, you know, I'm their mother. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Indeed. So this one says. For a good cookie. Oh, good. If the brain were so simple we could understand it, we would be so simple we couldn't. Holy shit. I'm going to yes, have to think now. Wait, say that. Well, several, how does the, where do I get these there. fortunes? It's I think I got them from SigmundFreud.com. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is not Wait, Freud. Read it again. Read it again. <laughs> it's just basically saying that people, would, people are dumb, I think. Wait, no? But say it. Say if, it. No, that's not what it says. If the brain were so simple we could understand it, we would be so simple we couldn't. Interesting. What do you get from that? They're messing There's nothing. With our that's, heads. That's, they uh, are that's messing up. <laughs> Those Chinese people. They really concert. want us to feel yeah. like stupid Americans. So I hope you come back on December 8th on your birthday. I'll try. Um, well, let's try. try. To figure it out. Uh, thanks so much for coming. You are a cute, cute, cute thing. And, and um, John Broder, look him up. Buy his music. We John. like him. John All right, Broder. thank you so much. Molly's King's birthday, Ruin Who. Woo! 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 We'll be right back.